Hey everybody, this is Dean Tacosta of the Search Authority. We're going to talk another tool. This is called IP Who Is. This is a really cool tool that can do a lot of different things for you. It's a Chrome extension. So first of all, I am on Facebook. You'll notice that it's sitting right here. It's already told me on Facebook alone that it's in the U.S. We pop it. We get the IP address, location, all that good stuff. We can get the DNS information. Uh, we can get the Who Is information, which it's Facebook. It's not going to tell us a whole lot. Um, we can get the Alexa information which is the ranking within SEO and all that, and then web archive information, which will basically just open up the web archive and find Wayback Machine and find this information about Facebook. Great, a lot of info. So what I've done here in Facebook is I've looked under Chris Hawtrey. Now we're going to pretend I can't find the contact information, even though, I, even though as you can see there, I definitely can. Um, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to use Profit2. And I'm going to forget all this stuff and go right down here to his website. We're going to open up Hawtrey.us. We're going to know it says the Hawtrey family. But you're going to notice there's nothing there. But if we come up here to our IP who is and open up, you're going to know there's not a whole lot of info here. Not a whole lot of info in the DNS. In the who is, we got some info. So let's see what we get. We go down here. We get all that. We, oh, wait a minute. Chris Hawtrey, his address. A phone number. Look at what we're getting here. An email address. And then if we go down to the Ministry of Contact, it's the same info, the technical contract, same. So what that means is simple. When you're looking at a candidate and trying to find contact info, if they have their own domain and they have, unless they've paid to keep it hidden, their information is going to be available right here right here in this little old tool and let's remember there's so much more you can do with this tool i mean all i've done is this so let's do an alexa ranking probably nothing because there's nothing here let's do a web archive now in this case there shouldn't be anything or very little as you can see very little matter of fact march 23rd 2018 is the last time he did or august the last time anything's really happened but let's say it's a site that has a lot more in it now you can go back and look at all the different things that they may have put on their profile or their resume or the site or whatever historically all right from this tool this is a one-stop shopping for this type of stuff but the key is it got me emails phone numbers addresses simple easy peasy can't ask for nothing more that was this tool the ip who is i am dean DeCosta, the search authority